Okay, so we're going to start by loosening this. Um, this this tightens it. So once you get the lock picked, you want to tighten it to make sure the um, whatever you want to call these stay and don't move. And this is what you use to trace onto your key blank. So we're going to loosen it. We're going to clear it out. Make sure they're all flush. Tighten this down just enough to where when these rods go back, they'll stay. Just just barely. Just enough. And I'm just going to hold the lock in here so y'all can kind of see what I'm doing. I don't have to have my hands all in the way. Now I'm just going to do this and kind of talk while I'm doing it. What I'm doing is pushing it in and then just a slight wiggle. Alright, push it in, slight wiggle, left and right. Kind of roundabout, just real gentle. I just need it to turn once. And once I get it to turn, and if I don't, you couldn't hear that, but kind of like when you pick a lock, you can hear the uh, the pin stick, and when you let go of the tension wrench, it'll click. Well, this will do the same thing. It's clicking, um, so you know you know you're you know you're doing good. Just a little wiggle, a little back and forth, just a slight, just a little bit, barely any pressure. And hopefully this doesn't take too long. There it is. Okay. You can see that it's picked. So what I do now is I remove, remove your pick. And tighten this lever down. Nice and tight. Okay. Now what this does, as you can see here, you can see here, these little pieces come back, okay? And those are actually the cuts of the key, if you will. And uh, let's see if I can demonstrate this. If you look here, you'll see how there's a spacing between the end and these, each of these rods here. A little spacing so those are actually the cuts to the key so when you lock that down these rods aren't gonna move and so now now you can you can try it out again and this should work see okay a little rough it's okay okay there you go